by me. Now, and today, by the grace of God, our focus, I'm waiting for those, the media people to put us, are we online now? Okay. So I welcome those of you online. Last week, we started looking at the life of Elijah, the prophet. We saw how he gave up because he refused to pass the ball. And I told us last week, Sunday, the ball of success, as long as it is within your possession, the enemy wants to tackle you. And the summary of last week's message is this. You must learn to work with people. Don't ever allow the devil to bring you into a point of isolating yourself. No matter what people have done to you, see it as the devil's plan to isolate you so that he can get you. And I told, them last, I told us last week Sunday that the devil that wants to destroy you will first have to succeed to isolate you. And once he succeeds to isolate you, he has gotten you. One of the revelations that I won't want us to forget that I told us last week, that as long as you continue to judge people by your own standard, you will remain alone. You won't have friends. That you don't judge people by your standard if you want to have people to relate with. So our focus today, let's go back to our scripture, 1 Kings 19, 1 to 4. We are going to continue from the life of prophet Elijah as well. 1 Kings chapter 19 from verse 1 to verse 4. And here Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. Now, peradventure, you don't know what Elijah did, I'll tell you. Number one, Elijah did what? He brought fire from heaven. You know, to, to burn a sacrifice without him using matches. He lifted his voice and called for fire and fire fell. That's a miracle. The prophets of Baal could not do it. Now, number two, prophet Elijah succeeded to gather the prophets of Baal together and organize that they be slaughtered so that corruption would end. So when Ahab got back home, he went to tell a prophet Elijah, I mean, uh, his wife, Jezebel. Jezebel, this is what prophet Elijah did. Oh, ah, do you know, you know, and let's move on. And with all, how he had slain. Can you see that it was not only slain the prophet of Baal, like he said. With all, all he had, and he, how he had slain the prophet with the sword. Now look at verse 2. Verse 2. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah saying, so let the gods do to me, and, and more also, if I make not thy life, look at this, as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. Which means, the way you kill the prophets of Baal, Elijah, I will kill you tomorrow. Ah. Now listen, and when he saw, I, I spoke on this yesterday, he arose and fled, he went for his life. And came to Bethsheba, which belonged to Judah, and left his servant there. I'll stop at verse 4. Then in verse 4. In verse 4. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, and came and sat down under a juniper tree, and he requested for himself that he might die. Now, why did he request for death? We only saw part one, yes, last week, Sunday. Why did he request for death? And said, it is enough. Now, O Lord, take away my life. For I am not better than my fathers. Let me die. Why did he request for death? You know, when I was studying, I, I discovered something I want us to learn from. You know what? Uh, Elijah the prophet was expecting that uh, the king should do. Having had of the testimonies of how fire fell. Elijah was thinking that from the palace, at least, the least he would receive was praise. Abi, ah, you know, Shalom, you were anointed, gone. That man of God is so anointed, he brought fire down from heaven. You know, but he was shocked when the wife of the, of the king sent a message that, see, if you remain alive by this time tomorrow, know that God is not God. Ah, so Elijah felt rejected. 
He felt not needed. He, he felt upon all that I have done, I'm still not accepted. Can I tell you this truth? If there's ever, anything anybody is looking for in this world, it's acceptance. There is nobody that loves to be rejected. Am I communicating? For instance, you want to be accepted by your in-laws. That I don't like it that my mother-in-law doesn't like me. I don't like it the way my, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law relates with me. There's everybody in this life is looking for acceptance. That's what everybody is looking for. That's why when you open your business and there is no sales, you don't feel happy. You wish that once you open your business, people should be coming from right and left and be giving comments. Ah, if I, you are good in this, ah, your business is a blessing and things like that. So everybody wants acceptance. Mothers want their children to celebrate them. Children want their parents to celebrate them. Even the pastor wants his congregation to accept him as a servant of God. That's why if the congregation does not accept him as a servant of God, he doesn't feel happy. So that's why this morning, hear me, I want us all to learn how to conquer what we call rejection. Because once a while, whether you like it or not, some people will not like you. And if you don't know how to cope with it, you might end up like Elijah. Whether you like it or not, there is nothing you can do to make everybody to like you. But you must learn how to undo it. I wrote here, he never believed that upon the miracle of bringing fire from heaven physically, you know, something that the prophets of Baal could not do. And having executed the first prophet, what he expected is that he would have been praised. He never expected that he would be rejected even from the palace. Now, if you ask some of you, our departmental heads now, you will say, in fact, if at the end of this year, uh, uh, our pastor does not uh, celebrate me for, the, for my contribution as, as HOD, maybe I will leave that department. At least we'll try with my work. Eh? I have work that I'm doing. I have my own business. I have my own family. Still, I did the work of department. If they don't praise me, I try. Everybody is looking for acceptance. Hallelujah. Talk to me now. Listen, I wrote here, the feeling of rejection has a way of making people feel worthless. I want you to know that the feeling of rejection has a way of making people to feel worthless. That's why uh, you see some young people, when their fiancés say, I'm no longer interested in this relationship. I think my daughter was sharing that one happened in Lee City University. The young girl, when to try to take a, 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 a commit suicide. Why? He, her boyfriend said, I'm no longer interested. She felt rejected. The feeling of rejection. She felt, I'm, I'm no longer needed. You must learn how to conquer rejection. Hear me. Now, there are people too who were dropped. They went for interview. We are 50 that went. And they told us, well, we'll, we'll go through your CV. We'll get back to you. They never go back to them. And some of them are feeling bad. She me kawe to me. She me down question, but she came down when Why are they rejecting me? Listen, the feeling of rejection has a way of making people feel worthless or useless. So many people have even committed suicide because of the feeling of rejection. I saw one on Facebook. The elderly man went to the Todd Milan Bridge. And people were trying to tell him, don't, don't, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Daddy, wait, wait, wait. He said, they don't believe me. They don't believe me. They don't believe me. And he jumped into the third Milan, I mean, the, the lagoon. And when uh, divers got there, he was already dead by the time they brought him out. So rejection has a way of making you feel worthless. And if care is not taken, do you know that a lot of people have committed suicide? Because of this feeling of rejection. I wrote here, some even go into exile of low self-esteem. You know what they call low self-esteem? They are always afraid to express themselves. I was telling them in our school, at the a level school. Uh, there's this young girl. They brought her from Malaysia to come and school in Lebanon. She's very brilliant, though, but her problem is, if she speaks 
one sentence, she will shoot about three bullets. You may say, Auntie, Auntie, I want to went to the toilet. So when she, anytime she does that, her auntie will say, Hey, I'll say, Shut up. Don't do that. And the auntie will say, uh, So one day the auntie asked me, Daddy, why are you always saying this? I say, See, if you keep doing that, you will kill her morale. Thank God that even she does not know how to, even though she does not know how to speak proper English, she's still speaking it. Upon all your, hey, who, she's still trying to speak it. I say, whenever she speaks, let's correct her. Let's tell her that you don't say, Auntie, I want to went to the toilet. No, 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 no. So I had to advise, I, I had to see the dad, and I told the dad, please, we will need Queen's Primer, one and two, for your daughter. The father was happy. He said, sir, me too, I noticed this. And instantly he gave me money, sir. Please, get it for her. I, I, am, I, am I communicating? So, when people are, 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 are rejected, they want to go into what we call low self-esteem. They don't want to express themselves. You know, some of you young ladies may not know. The, the, the first time, your fiancé may take you to the house. You say, mommy, I want you to meet the lady I'm going to marry, and if your mother-in-law is a, is a high-minded person, she looks at you and says, eh. And look, you know, there's a way you look at you, you say, eh. you'll be looking at yourself, ah, what happened to me? Are, are you going to know what I'm saying? Things like this happen, though. I'm telling you the truth. Things like this happen. That's why I want to teach you this morning. You must know how to conquer rejection because not everybody will accept you. And you must know that whether they accept you or not, it does not change whom God says you are. Say I hear. Thank God that man is not God. Tell your neighbor, thank God that man is not God. Now let me still express, show you slowly. When we talk about low self uh, low self-esteem, that's why I always I my wife used to say this to parents in a, in the schools we monitor. Please don't don't bully your children. Don't bully your children. We used to tell them, don't bully your children. Now, I grew up in an environment where when we were young, you know, because my mom was a single parent, you know, my dad left. And, you know, it's always like this. When a woman is not loved, she nags on the children. So, we grew up with these statements. My mom would always say, useless. You're, 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 you know, she, we speak pidgin in our, in our, in our family. You're the craze. Just useless like your papa. Idiot. So, it, it drove me into low self-esteem. Through, throughout my days in school, when I know things and they say, they point to me to say, I will not be able to say it. I was always afraid of making mistakes. And can I tell you this truth? In the school of wisdom, at times, you don't learn some lessons until you make some mistakes. So, that's why once in a while, we allow people to explore. So that when they fall, they rise. That was one of the mistakes I, I did in the early part of ministry. I don't usually allow members to make mistakes. When I see you trying to go to a path, I'll be shouting, I'll be shouting. And I discover a lot of people were leaving church. So I had to change my method. When I try to correct you and you refuse, I allow you. When you get hot, you'll come back. you realize. So a lot of people have allowed uh, rejection to drive them into low self-esteem. And don't you know that if you enter into low self-esteem, some things will happen. I'll tell you, let's go on. So because of rejection. Now, from people, that, and most times it's from people they have, they hold in high esteem. One thing about life, listen, you should know is that you don't have the power to determine how people treat you. Write this down. One thing in life you should know is that you don't have the power to determine how people treat you. Now, that power is reserved for people. You don't have the power to determine how they will treat you. You don't have the power to determine how people treat you. I've seen so many things in our church where people want to serve me. I've seen where some people will go extra mile, buy plates, expensive plates. I want to give something to my pastor. And I've seen times where somebody, people will come. They'll put jello rice, fried rice, everything, want the same cooler. 
and bring it to, I say, Pastor, this is your gift. I don't have the power. I can talk, but I don't have the power to determine how I'm being treated. Now, if you see life like that, see, some things about you will be settled. Now, listen, even in this church, to some people, I am Papa. Do you know? To some people, I am the pastor. To some people, I am Prince Will. To some people, I'm Daddy Eniola. To some people, I am Okomama. You know, God taught me something. He said, son, relate with people based on their level of understanding of you. Whoever sees you as Prince will relate with him in that level. Otherwise, you'll just be getting offended. Though. Whoever sees you as Papa, relate with them as your, their, their daddy. Whoever sees you as a friend, relate with them as a friend. Don't relate with people based on your revelation on, of yourself. Or else, you will feel offended. That was how I settled it. So, if you are coming to church, you do like this, I'll also greet you. If you do like this, I also do like this. If you do like this, I also do like this. No offense. If you kneel down, I will bow down. If you bring forth your hand, I will shake it. So when you get to that point, you understand that you don't have the power to determine how people treat you. I'm telling you, people's treatment of you will not offend you again. So quickly, how then can I handle rejection because it will definitely come whether you like it or not it will come whether you like it or not it will come somebody said to my son many years ago in the school i don't like your color and my son came home crying And he doesn't like it when people call him Afi, Oibo, Albino. He doesn't like it. So when he came back home, he said, my classmate said, I don't like your color. And he's, I said, that's why you are crying? He said, yes. I said, go back and tell her that you don't like her color too. That you are just too black. like the base of our pot at home. He said, I said, yes. He said, I said, go tell them, God is light. The devil is black. <laughs> you know, I, I, I had to put confidence in him, in himself. <laughs> it's true now. So that he will not be feeling different from others. I had to branch. It's not part of my message. How then can I handle rejection? Number one, I only tell you three things and I close. We'll pray for the next service. How then can I handle rejection? Number one, don't allow it to generate in you a feeling to do something to prove your rejectors wrong. Don't allow it to generate in you a feeling to do something to prove your rejectors wrong. I call it in bracket a hunger to want to show. One of our daughters in church, you know, because she had, she had one child out of marrying wedlock, you know, she has given back to a child before, so a young brother in our church approached her and uh, she agreed to the proposal. They told me. I said, okay, take her to the family house. Let them see her. Now, and this brother lives with the family. Now, learn from this. So, they went home. And their father said, the father of the boy said, who is this girl? He said, the girl I'm thinking of getting married to. The father asked one or two questions and discovered that this her sister has a child before. Now, this her sister now felt, ah, it's like the way they look at me, they didn't accept me. You know what she started doing that was wrong? She will go to the house of this, the parents of this, our brother. Very early in the morning, she'll go and begin to wash the clothes of this father. Sister, any <laughs> money. Wash the clothes of his mom. Cook for them in the morning. 
go to work, come back, cook in the afternoon. Then after she closed from work, she will go back, cook for them in the night before she will be going to their own house. And she did that so well. When she even gets to their house and discovers that there is no food in their house, she will, from her salary, buy food stuffs, put in the house. She created an impression that she could not sustain just because she wanted to enter where? That family. And you know how you members used to behave? When we had it, I called my wife, I, we sat her down, we started talking to her, but she didn't understand what we were saying. She was feeling that Papa and Mama don't understand. They don't understand. If they understand that I have a child before, they, they will not stop me from doing this. They, this brother is the only son in the family, and since he's the only son in the family, they will not allow me to just marry him just like that. We said everything. She didn't agree. Lo and behold. Now, learn from this. They got married, though. The whole, everybody in the family supported her. Everybody was chanting her name. Ah, if our son don't marry this girl, he has missed it in life. But you know, any character you borrow does not last forever. So they got married. They had little challenge with accommodation. So they had to live in the house of the parents. So she will enter the kitchen from in the morning. She will be cooking, 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 cooking. Till late at night. You know who I'm talking about. Carry your face. Till late at night. 11 p.m. she's still cooking. Hey, you know, some of you don't know tradition. You know, it is we, Yorubas, our food is very quick to cook. If you have any Igbos here, you understand what I'm saying. Ah, one dapo gun. One shesha wa gun, one gun. They have different kind of peppers. They will. <laughs> okay, Mrs. says here like here now. No be so. And you know, in Igbo house, when they finish breakfast, they are already preparing for lunch. <laughs> Beloved, it got to a point this sister could not continue. Did you know that eventually the entire family now hated her? They hated her to the point that they told her by her face, we will beat you. And if your husband talk, we will beat him. The first thing that those that reject you want to do is this. They want to control you. You must not allow their rejection, their attitude of rejecting you to drive you into trying to show up. That's why, see, young ladies to learn. When a young man wants sex from you, and you are saying, I'm born again, I'm born again. Uh, it's a sexless relationship we are going to do. You know, you begin to pick up fights. You hear words like, they even told me that you are not, you are not worth my level. You hear words like, I don't even know why I even say I should date you. He wants to achieve something. He wants you to put you in a corner where you want to impress him. Then he will now tell you, ah, well, maybe we should do this thing. The best way to handle rejection, hear me, don't allow it to generate in you a feeling to want to do something to prove your rejectors wrong. That is in bracket, a hunger to want to show. Hear me, acceptance is not attained by what you do. It is attained by who you are. This is me. Whether you like me or not, it is not what you do. It is who you are. Who is Pastor Prince with? This is me. Whether they accept you or not. Beloved, ah, ask the king for me. My Dikin. Book Bua, one members that follow one church. A Woloshi Kun church. 
Kosi. I want to ask you to I can prove check me. Oh, yeah, a phone like Bajani 50,000, full of his own will. A village 60,000, full of his own will. A village 50,000, go support business. If... You know why we're doing it? We were giving them, thinking that it will make them to stay. It got to a point. Whenever there was a crisis in church, you would discover that these people will be there. I'll now be feeling that ah, if anybody should gossip in church, are you, am I communicating? I had to come to a point that see, if you want to be member, be member. If you want to go, go. After all, it's Jesus' church. Yes, now. It's Jesus' church. It's not even my church. It was when we get, got to that point, I had peace. Ah, in those days, if they want to do celebration, okay, uh, like, but are, do you know that it, there was a point, somebody lost his father in our church, almost the whole church traveled to Kogi State. Ah, ah, and he nice. Ah, God, you Lord. I had to release my wife to go for the burial. <laughs> See, I hear now. Are you learning anything at all? Are you sure you are learning anything? Now, let's move on. Let's move on. Who am I? Stop thinking that you need to impress people to gain their acceptance. Stop thinking you need to impress people to gain their acceptance. Who is clapping? Is everyone here? Stop thinking you need to impress people to gain their acceptance. You are going to meet your in-law for the first time. And you are saying, ah, 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 I'm nervous. I'm nervous. You are telling, Wally, Wally, or, or, or what's his name? Ty, Ty, ah, you want me to go and meet your in-law, your mommy. Okay. Ah, I'm nav- nervous about what? Just of my pretty you fair, Omar Kuni. I want you to get to that point. When you get to this point, hear me, you begin to have peace. Now, let's move on. Let's move on. This was what killed Samson. Now, listen to the story of Samson that I want to use to back up this point. After Samson was being arrested by the wicked, they removed his two eyes. Locked him up in prison. The Bible says the hair of something grew again. And because he wanted to impress, he wanted to prove a point, he prayed the wrong prayer. What was the prayer he prayed? He said, oh Lord, please give me ability to be strong again so that I can die with my enemies. And the Bible says the power of God came upon him. He took the two pillars of the temple where all the people gathered. He pulled them down and it fell on them and him and he died. I now said to myself, if God could hear the prayer of Samson by saying, give me strength again. It means that God could hear the prayer if Samson said, give me new eyes. But he just felt like, I just need to impress I've been to meetings, sir, eh, where I'm invited, and they'll be looking at me. Be, you, know, there, you know, there are people that have no imported suit. Yeah, there are people that, yeah, I don't know anything. If you ask me, I don't know anything. It's my wife that knows, she also knows those. Me, I don't know anything. I can wear anything. I've been to meetings where they will look at you, look at your shoe, look at your cloth. They know the price of your wristwatch. And they will put you at a corner. They have done that to me several times. But when they now hear me speak, they now want to say, a eh, 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 man of God, don't call me man of God. You judged me. You misjudged me because of what I was wearing. Do you know that some people are entering to debt today because they want to prove a point? If you are doing that, rejection has gotten you. You are like Elijah. 
asking for debt because somebody rejected you. Some people are struggling with a house rent to live in a house that is not their size because they want to prove a point. In fact, there are some Christians in church, eh? there are some seed that is not their level. I'm telling you. Because you saw Mrs. Abba stood up and is coming out for a call for 120,000. I'll give 100,000 in church. You say, ah, see, I should know the balance daddy for 120. Ah, she keeps up on my best. Nearly it's more high. You were told them, okay, to back by little butter. Oh, tell you, 20,000. How much is all 100? My mentor said to us, he said, they had to invite a brother in their church. Brother, you <laughs> Hey, Five years ago, he said, Two years ago, he said, Two years Two years ago, he said, Two years ago, he said, Two years He said, when they asked him, the other said, I am pledging my faith. He said, he told him, your faith is putting us in trouble. Because when we begin to count pledges of what the project you want to do, we plan on, on the air. Sir, man, I'm talking to you. I'm your spiritual pastor. Your pastor. You see me as your parents. Spiritually, I'm your father in the Lord. It is not what you do that makes you accepted. It is who you are. If you are who you are and you are putting on Ankara, it does not make a difference if you are putting on lace. That's why some of you cannot carry yourself boldly because you are afraid. You have allowed rejection to make you have low self-esteem. I believe in myself as you see me. There is no place I cannot enter in this life. I learned that from two people, my mom and my wife. When my mom was still alive, when she was still in Nigeria, because of her complexion, she started a business, a consultancy business for Igbo guys. When they say they want to see the governor, my, mom, my mother will charge them. She doesn't know the governor. They want to see any commissioner. My, wife, my mother will charge them. She doesn't know the commissioner. But you know, my mom was very light. She looks like a white woman. So she would charge them, okay, to see the governor. Um, can you pay in those days 150,000? So the people would pay. They say, they, in Ibo, they say, oh, one young child, one young child, that yellow woman. My mom will now go and wear a suit. Monday morning, well dressed, she will now be going to the governor's office. I'm here to see the governor. When they ask me, that tell her Ben Sin wants to see her. Benzin. Benzin. That was how she was entering every office and collecting money. She believed in herself. My mom, Kumberu, get to that point. Don't let them push you to be running the race because everybody is building. You now went to go and borrow money to buy land, to start a project. You don't borrow money to buy land. I always tell people, because you have to pay money back. You may eventually sell that land to pay back the loan. Now, let's move on. Where am I, where am I, where am I, where am I? Always allow God to give you the testimony you need. Don't fake it. Don't fake it. Always allow God to give it to you. Don't fake it. You saw that I invited Reverend Shola Koladi many years ago, Vine Branch Church. 
I didn't have a car to go to his church. I rode on bike. I could afford to charter Mr. Gollard. And I chatted Mr. Gollard. We got to the church, Vine Branch, Mokola. Went to the office. And as I, I was true with the man of God, he received my letter of invitation. He said, I'll pray over it. I'll get back to you. Can I see you off to your car? I said, sir, there is no need. He said, no, let me see you. I said, sir, don't bother. Hey, well, he said, sir, man of God, let me see you off to your car. I said, no problem, sir. And I was going <laughs> confidently. As I got outside, psst, my bike man just came. Reverend Shola look at me like this. Look at the bike man. Look at me. Look at the bike man. But in my heart, I was I told you not to bother. At least, pata pata eh. Pata pata eh. Ni wani. Olongu velu yini eh. It's true. Pata pata eh. Ni wani. But look at when the man of God came. As he came up, he said, I want to thank God for your pastor. I thank God for his courage. He didn't have a car when he came to me. The way he sat on the bike as he was going, as he was going, I was just saying to myself, I love the courage of this man. Let me tell your neighbor, be yourself. How can I handle rejection? Number two, stop allowing the statements an attitude of people to define who you are. Please stop it. Stop allowing the statements and attitude of people to define who you are. Stop it. No, don't allow the statements of you to define you. Ah, Eniola, you are not fashionable at all. Is that why you want to be running? Excuse me, ma. The greatest woman in Nigeria, when it comes to, um, uh, what do they call this thing? No, I'm looking for the English word to call it. Is it technocrats you call them? It's uh, a... Uh, this woman that works with the World Bank, um, is a crazy What's her name? What's her name? Check it. Hey, can Hey, my current affairs name. Yeah, Okojo. Ewiala. Excuse me, sir. How does she always stress? Ma? Is it Georgie or Manny she wears? Ankarani. The woman is very wealthy. She sits in the board of World Bank. Stop it. Don't be allowing people's statements and attitude. Ah, me like Moshe Wu, 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 me like me like Moshe Wu, me like Moshe Wu, me like Moshe Wu, me like Ah, Brakuri di mimo. Elulu alo wai ejo yami. Ah, Mrs. Christopher ejo bi elu muli roi ejo yami. Mi live mo sheli milano. Um, eh, eh, you know. Ewakda ogujo mumbo. Ma di parish word. Ma di parish word. Munlope ah. In fact, eh, timo bitu di parish word. Eni enta ja uma importa shogo ma di be. Because of people's attitude. Ah, why we want chance you? You know, I told you at the beginning, you do not have the power to determine how people treat you. You don't have that power. The devil is, can use them to treat you somehow to make you run the wrong grace. Uh, your brother, that one that doesn't know how to talk. I didn't want to lash him today. He just came. The last time he came to worship with us, he came to see me. Pastor, I want to see you. I came to church today. I saw that it's the same faces of people that are here. The people I left are the same people I saw. You better invite me to come and teach these people here how to do massive evangelism. I earn dollars. If I have not touched my salary in the two thousand, he boasted and kept boasting. And by the time he finished, I said, do you know that there are two churches that came out of this church? Yesterday, 
the uh, Ayegun people came. They were 21. How many? Lano, the, for, for the wedding. 21. We have not counted pastors, just two families. We remove them from here. So by the time he said, I didn't know what is Jabo. Don't allow people to define. He says, sir, I heard you preaching, that you were preaching, you said, uh, because you increased your salary to, I mean, your house rent to 350. That's why you went to build two rooms. You are downgrading us by that statement, sir. I look at him. If you see my city room, sir, that I'm building, my theater alone, it was later I discovered it was his mother-in-law's house he was building. He's a supervisor. Some people can buga to make you run the wrong race. That's why. Stop allowing their statements to make you define or think they are to define yourself. Hello? Are you here? Learn to see yourself from where? From the light of God's word. I need to rush now. Let's read three scriptures. First Peter 2.9. 1 Peter 2 9. We'll read Psalm 139, verse 14. We'll read Genesis 1 26. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Start to see yourself from the point of the word. Even you that are young, please listen to this message. Is that about you? Who are you? From the word of God. Say after me, I am a chosen generation. Say it boldly. Say, I am a royal priesthood. Say, I am a holy nation. Say, I am a peculiar person. I was called forth to show the praises of him that called me out of darkness into his marvelous light. This is who you are. Look at what David said about himself. Psalm 139, verse 14. Look at, I love this one. I love what, what David said about himself. This is how you should see yourself, irrespective of whatever anybody is saying about you. Psalm 139, verse 14. Be fast, be fast, be fast. I have like six minutes more. Psalm 139 and verse 14. Let's read it together again. One, two, three, and let's go. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my, so that my soul knoweth right well. What does his soul know right well? His soul knows that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Teru, teru. Ati tiyanu, tiyanu, nofi dami. We used to sing it when we, were, when we were young Christians. I am fearfully made. I'm wonderfully made. I belong to God. I resemble him. I am fearfully made. I'm wonderfully made. I belong to God. I resemble him. That is why the devil trembles whenever he is me singing. I am of God and the apple of his eye. That's what... The devil trembles. Begin to see yourself in that light. Not because they look at one side to your sir. She to report to be more. Oti Mary. Oti Kole. Oti Ramoto. It doesn't define you. Look at the third scripture that you should also see yourself. You should see yourself from. Genesis 1.26. I want to summarize fast. I want to take the last one. Look at this. And God said, let us make man in our image. Who are you? I didn't hear you. Who are you? I am the image of God. I am the likeness of God. That's how you should see yourself. That's what I see, eh? You must never forget that you are who God says you are, not what they say or think you are. Take the last one. Third way to conquer rejection. 
let it build in you. Passion to build yourself. When they reject you, don't die because of it. But let it lead you to build yourself. Let it create in you a decision not to give up. A decision not to fail. To summarize this point, that was what happened to Jephthah. You know? Omale nye. Omale. Ele kone. Ele bawa kwenye nunu kwa konu le. Omale ushi. Konu le. Wande delwe sita. Koko konso. He didn't hang himself. He went to work. He became great while he was working. Because if you build yourself, eh? Those people that rejected you yesterday, they will come back for you today. But if you allow rejection to make you to go and isolate, to drive into low self-esteem, to make you to go and commit suicide, they won't come back. They will laugh at you. Today, I used to thank God for myself. Pastor Prince will that nobody wanted to see at the beginning. A lot of pastors listen to our programs. When I go for meetings, even when I'm not the preacher, I'll hear pastors who come and greet me. So I don't know you. I watch you on Facebook. I don't know. I watch you on Facebook. I don't know. I watch you on Facebook. I don't know. I watch you on Facebook. Ah, pastor, you bless me on Facebook. I be me no call. Any because he left. Any or that's Shewele song in those days. Omu mi kuro la kitan. Wa sa ni oba o. Omu mi joko. Kela woman balade. Use it to develop yourself. That a customer came, a client came to your shop, transact with you, and eventually stood up and said, rubbish. Rubbish. It does not mean you should fold up. Develop yourself more. I told you my experience last week. Somebody came and said, Rubbish. You know, school will and run. They took their children from our school. Two children. They left. Lo and behold, was it two years after? We just saw them in the church. And after the service, they want to see us. Eh, eh, we have gone and eh, Mama, eh, Daddy, we, are, we want to bring your children back. What if we allow their going to kill us? There wouldn't, have been a, there wouldn't have been a coming. When you are rejected, go and build yourself. Did you get me? When you are rejected, go and build yourself. They rejected Jesus too now. This rubbish capital son, what does he want to say? But later they all came and they were shouting, Hosanna is the highest. Blessed is the one that cometh in the name of the Lord. Go and ask most of these popular people today. They will tell you they were once rejected. Nobody wanted to listen to them. She was long, she was long one in it. I was telling, was it precious, the precious I was sharing with? This Lao Lu Ben Cho or so. He does not have the voice to sing. He doesn't have it. But they are listening to him all over the world now. He has good backup. Good packaging. Will you conquer rejection? Because not everybody will accept you. Don't, don't let that one bother you. I don't know that they have told you to your face before. They have told me to my face. I don't like you. Me, come on. Listen to me. She like it. I say, ah. I mean, you know what I like. We went for, was it a wedding? A function last week. And as, I like, I got that. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like. As I wore it, I told my wife, I said, ah, 
Mama said, I should lose you one in. Ah, no, 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 no. If more I would draw. I get to my bad eye. Get Because the wedding where governors were present, kings were present. And as I went to greet the, the mother of the bride, he said, I am highly disappointed in you. Hey, what can I say? He just she, then she called my wife, mama, -ma -ma, mama, please, and she gave her pass into the occasion. Ah, what did he come to London in here? Kia kia kia, we are the one pass. A meeting London in here. That's your opinion. It doesn't define me. Then my wife called me. I want my one pass. I left. But do you know that she has been sending messages of thank you since then? But I have not replied. If it were to be before that I have not conquered rejection, at that moment I would feel bad. I was shooting my work. I was shooting my work. I was shooting my work. Abi tori ke mi ba won ra fi lati won ni ti mo mu color to jo Abi tori pe mo pe de ni Now those abi abi those worry is enough to kill But I've gone I've grown past it Rise up on your feet You don't have the right to determine what how people Treat you. You don't have that right. Even if you shout at them, the opinion is theirs. Let's pray for our November. Is there anybody?